guys, it's me Melina, and today I'll be going through this sketchbook, if it will focus. Yay, okay, so basically this is from May of 2018. It lasted me about two months, so about into July was when I finished it. Um, I didn't really finish my sketchbooks that quickly now. It used to take me a month because the they were shorter, but... These ones are a bit bigger, so it took me more time, and also I wasn't drawing as much. But yeah, let's just get into the sketchbook. So first off, here's the obligatory first page. I'm not really into drawing these anymore because, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of them. Um, firstly, can I just say the side profiles, I, they're not my strong suit, and also the legs. I don't know, I probably did this at night where I didn't really care about the first page because I just wanted to get it out of the way so that I could do more drawings, <laughs> so yeah. Here's this fa- not fairy, <laughs> it's a princess. Um, yeah, it's this cute sort of princess. I'm not sure if this is on my Instagram or my Amino. It's probably on both, maybe. Um, yeah, I didn't really think about presenting my drawings very well on Instagram at this point in time because, I don't know, I just didn't think about it. But now, when I look at artists on Instagram, I really do like it when the layout is just aesthetic and really nice. It gives you that sort of extra motivation to follow them when you've already followed about 200 odd accounts. And yeah, that's the sort of approach I take to my my drawings and my video thumbnails as well. Here's this mermaid chibi. I did quite a few chibis in this sketchbook and they're all a bit badly proportioned, especially this one. I wasn't a big fan of it. It might have gone up on social media somewhere or another, but I don't remember because I deleted Amino after not using it for months on end. Here's this girl. I really like the pose I put her in. I just couldn't think of a concept for her to be in a full drawing. And this is a doodle from my friend. This is what happens when um, you have your classmates have your sketchbook. So, word of warning. Okay, so two drawings here. This one was probably done in class, judging from the black felt tips, felt tips in general, and these kind of cheap looking pencils. Probably the ones that are about three or four years old from WH Smith. And here is this mermaid drawing that I really don't like. Everything is just bleeding into each other. It's supposed to have a candy theme, but it, I don't know, it, I didn't like this one at all. After I finished it, I was just thinking, wow, this looks bad. <laughs> yeah, harsh, but I can't disagree with what I was thinking at the time. Here's this mermaid drawing that I do like. I'm pretty sure it's still up on my channel. If I did unlist the video, then I will go ahead and make that public again, or I'll just leave a link to it since it's only unlisted and not private. Uh, yeah, apart from the colour sort of themes here, I don't mind it. Random Sundari boy sketch, nothing much to see here. And now for some, another two pages. I do like going on the back of pages that don't have any ink on it, just so that, you know, I don't waste paper because it annoys me very much when I look at the older, older sketchbooks. Um, because I waste so much paper there, I could have had so much more use out of those sketchbooks and I didn't use them a lot. Anyway, uh, here is this reference because I'm bad at drawing anime boys, which I am basically. I'm trying to get better at it though. So I copied off of Google to make them look really cute. And here's this girl with like a plait because I'm also working on plaits as well to just sort of spice up the drawings. And for this one, I have no idea why she's so depressed. I don't know why I drew this. I'm pretty sure I was pretty happy at this point in time, so yeah, no clue. 
here's a semi-realistic drawing of Alma. Just looking closely, I really like all the shading I put into it. The eyes are a bit spaced out too widely, but other than that, I quite like it. Actually, did I say Alma? I think I meant to say Aaliyah because I, I changed her name to be a little less old-fashioned, but I'm not used to it still after months and months of her name being changed, so yeah. Here's this drawing that I really like. I know it's not on my Instagram. Um, yeah, and I really like this one. Uh, the colours are a bit washed out because of my Derwent pencils. They don't have as much pigment as the Faber-Castell ones I have now. But I think for this picture it actually worked in my favour. And yeah, that's why I still really like it, even though it's old in my opinion. Ah, jeez, okay. Don't mind me not using a tripod because I'm lazy, but yeah, here is some BTS drawings. Well into the, I've discovered BTS and now I'm addicted phase, and now I'm in the I like BTS, not as obsessed phase, but still kind of obsessed. <laughs> anyway, um, this is Jimin being cute, and this is Sugar being s savage. That's the basic thing. And the quote is from Agusti. Good song. Really good song. This one was probably only on my Amino. Or, no, actually, I think it's on my Instagram as well. I'm, yeah, more bleeding here. The Tiger Markers really love the bleeding out on this one. In fact, all these markers hated this paper. Uh, this is more of a sketching and all-purpose paper than anything, because I got it off of Amazon. So yeah, I do like the hand though, I'm not gonna lie, the hand was good. Character design for like a cringy Wattpad story that I don't even want to remember, it was just so cliche and bad. But yeah, this is a character drawing. I tried to make him look cute. I don't know how that went. Here's where I was referencing off of Mark Crilly's art, I'm pretty sure. This was from the How to Draw Manga book that I was using in 2016, then decided to pick up again uh, that year. And yeah, I think this is really cute. I don't know why I didn't post it. I'm annoyed at myself for not posting it because I genuinely did think it was quite cute. Um, some silly meme kind of. Rush A, Rush B, and Rush E. This is from Sheet Music Boss's like ongoing Russian series. I made them into like communist girls, so yeah. Semi realistic Yandere chant. I don't do a lot of Yandere simulated fan art anymore. It's nothing to do with the game or the developer, despite all the controversy and stuff, which I'm not going to go into. But I, don't, I just lost interest after so many years. I hope it's coming out soon. I've heard it's coming out uh, in a couple years, but I don't even know at this point. I'll be glad when it comes out, honestly. Then I'll watch playthroughs and everything. Another chibi here. This is this kind of fairy girl. This was the fairy girl. And more marker bleeding ensues. And gosh, look at how wonky that dress looks. She actually looks pregnant here. That was... Yeah, I didn't like this one, even when I was drawing. So, yeah. This is a drawing of Sayori. Kind of depressing, I would say. Um, or sad, depending on how you look at it. I don't really draw much DDLC fan art because there isn't much in the game once you've played and unlocked every single secret there is, which you probably would have if you're a fan from 2017 and 2018. So, yeah. This is the redraw of Squad, and th they're in their magical girl outfits. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I don't draw them a lot in their actual magical girl forms. Um, I guess that's what you could call them. I mostly draw them in ordinary clothes now, but maybe I should redesign them uh, as magical girl kind of clothing, but more interesting, I guess. Everything just looks kind of dull here. This here is um, realistic Jungkook, or Jungkook, depending on how you pronounce it and whatever. Um, I use the former because it's easier for me. I don't like the expression, but I do like the hair. I do like how I shaded the hair here. I was going through a bit of a I really like realism kind of phase and stuff, so that was cool. 
At the time of finishing this, I really loved how it looked. Now I think the eyes are a bit wide and there are things I could use to improve. So I might redraw this at a later date. I don't know when I posted it. Probably June or something. So note to self, in a few months I might redraw this one. Lavender Town's OC planchette. This was so fun to draw and I really liked how this arm turned out in particular. I don't know why I mentioned that but yeah. Her OC is just so fun and simple and nice so <laughs> it was so much fun to draw. Here are some character designs for all of the OCs in this kind of universe. Maybe I'll do a comic one day if I can ever be bothered. But yeah, these, these two are like the bad guys. This is kind of a misunderstood character, but this is just a really bad character. This is supposed to be like her boyfriend or something. I kind of gave up on his design. And yeah, this is what Silver would look like. I notice now that uh, the bad guys are just sort of Neko's, which makes me wonder if I have some weird agenda against furries. I don't actually think I have anything against them. So yeah. This page is kind of cute, it's testing out my Faber-Castell pencils and my monochromatic stuff and I did this girl only in these grey markers because I wanted to test out how good I would be at shading. <laughs> this is kind of just a random sketchy meme, um, I think this is from PewDiePie, Scratadu Floradu is a uh, you laugh you lose in Swedish, which is that ongoing meme. Two pages that I really love from this sketchbook. This is the Rainbow Skull. When I show my friends this, this is the one that they say that they don't find cringy, which is a little sad. But yeah, I, I like this one too, so yeah. And this one is this Wistful Anime Girl. I just really like the shading and everything. The eyes are a bit wonky. You can see this one's a little bit bigger than the other. Yeah, I still think it's cute. Realistic Jimin, I quite like it. I could have done a bit more shading here though. Doodles and stuff that I never really finished. The rest of this sketchbook, I'm pretty sure that it was mostly just doodles at the end. Yeah, so I might whiz through these pretty quickly as we're coming to the end of the video and my camera might run out of recording time. So this is the work in progress for one of my nicest drawings. Uh, I might flash a picture up here or something if I can. And um, yeah, this was the sort of sketch of it. This was a kind of a redraw of this other one that's on my YouTube and the voiceover was kind of cringy for that video. But yeah, I tried redrawing it, but it didn't turn out so well. I might redraw this redraw. So yeah, that's the thing. Uh, OC personalities, you can pause the video if you want to have a look at that. Um, trying to do a bit ethereal. I've never been really good at doing ethereal kind of drawings. Just never really worked out for me. And there's only a couple pages left and they're all sketches so that's anticlimactic but yeah. Another work in progress for one of my pretty drawings which I'll put a picture up or something. Um, I don't know what this is, kind of realism, but the face is wide. <laughs> and finally, here are just a bunch of random sketches for all the things that I completed on my counts and Bristol board. I was really into using Bristol board at the time, so that's why you don't see as many uh, ink drawings in here. So yeah, oh, one more thing, actually here's where it's interesting because I spent the last page doing nothing but really cute, um, well, I don't know if you call it cute, but I did a load of realistic stuff. I'm so proud of this page because it looks really good and I did all the referencing and stuff and it actually looks like I put effort into it, which is fun. Anyway, that's the end of my very long sketchbook tour. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you want to see it again, you can tell me that. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye!